So, I'm John Tompkins with Intel Labs. Um, I'm working and showing on this project that we're doing with Intel Labs and Carnegie Mellon University. Um, the project is focused on creating a headlight that can see through rain. And in this uh, demonstration, what we're doing is we're trying to develop a headlight that has the ability of turning off light in specific locations where the raindrops are falling through the headlight beam. So today, when you turn on your headlight, you have 100% illumination and you're seeing 100% of the rainfall coming down. Um, what we're doing is we're looking and analyzing those raindrops as they fall through the path or the beam of the headlight. And we're trying to predict those future locations of where the rain will be falling as it passes through the beam. And then we share that information with a projection style headlight that will produce black dots specifically where we think those raindrops will be falling. And the result of this is when we turn the system on, you end up with a view that looks something like this. There's about a 13 millisecond delay, and this is the latency of the entire system that it takes for as the raindrop enters the, the field of view of the camera to the point where we've calculated those future locations and can begin to mask those raindrops out of the headlight beam. And I'll show you a video that also represents the technology and you can kind of see what that looks like. So as the rain falls, you can see this is what you normally see today when your headlight is on. You see these long streaks and, and it's very distracting. And when we turn the system on and you can, you can see that those streaks are less visible in the video on the right, you still get that 13 millisecond of time when the system is still calculating where those raindrops are, but you can see here that the visibility of the rain is, is diminished by quite a bit. So today you have your headlight and it turns on and it illuminates everything that's in front of you, including the raindrops that are there. So what we're talking about is turning off those specific areas of the headlight that would otherwise hit rain. And if you take a you know high-speed snapshot of rain, you don't see these long streaks, but you see these little dots where those drops are located. And this is what the headlight looks like when you're, you're, you're driving down the road in a heavy rainstorm. You it's very distracting and it gets away from seeing the road itself. So here's an overview of the of the process. We capture the image of the raindrop falling through the headlight and as we predict that location we're able to turn off those portions of the light. So here's a simulation that shows the effects of speed on our algorithms and process. So at the top of the video you can see the red streaks as they begin to enter in the view of the headlight and as we begin to understand where those raindrops are traveling the black streaks represent those raindrops that we've successfully not illuminated and the red streaks are ones that we've missed that are that are making making their way through and as the car accelerates through this very heavy rainfall you can see the angle of the raindrops changes and a few more of the of the raindrops are making their way through, but it's still pretty accurate as far as being able to block out most of those raindrops as they fall. And now as you're going, you know, 90 kilometers per hour, those raindrops are almost coming straight at the headlight, but it's still able to successfully not illuminate about 50% of them. And this is a picture of our prototype. Um, we have the projector and the beam splitter that's reflecting the light from those raindrops into the the camera and in this rig what we'll do is we'll have a simulated rain and it'll show you know how the system works so the camera will see something like this where the raindrop is falling down through the, the headlight and the computer is constantly analyzing where that raindrop is falling and doing its best to create a 
black dot that will perfectly match the location of that rain as it falls through the headlight. And when we project this mask, if you will, of the, of the headlight through that rain, we can successfully block out those bits that would otherwise hit a raindrop. And here's a video that shows what that looks like with a background that's illuminated. You know, the rain, you know, is falling here. This is what the system having 100% illumination. And then this is what the system looks like when we activate it. And you can see, you know, we still have that 13 milliseconds of time where we're still working out the location of the raindrops. And then you can see that this, the visibility here is much, much improved over the video on the left. And every now and then you'll see a, a drop make its way through, um, but for the most part it's very accurate. And this is very early research, uh, we're still developing it, um, there's still a long ways to go, but it shows great promise. Thank you.